Jimmy Garoppolo not going to injured reserve. This is kind of surprising considering when Kyle Shanahan's been asked about this, he's like, there's like a really low outside chance that he'll come back. But John Lynch was asked about it today on the radio, and he was like, I mean, you know, not going on IR. Sure, there's an outside chance, but it seems like they're leaving the door open. How do you interpret this? I think the outside chance is how deep the 49ers can go in the playoffs. Because if you're yeah. saying, hey, divisional round, all of a sudden Jimmy's good, and, and you happen to be there, right, uh, then, yeah, you're, you're in a much better place. Now, I think the outside chance part is maybe if you feel like, man, it's going to be tough just to get there with a mm-hmm. – rookie quarterback and you know how much is on Kyle's shoulders and making sure that he puts this young guy in the right positions to win because now you know before the season obviously you have expectations for the year right whether mm-hmm. it's Trey Lance or whatever it's like oh man like Super Bowl's expectations you're like oh, mm-hmm. I got temporary expectations guy in his first year started etc well now you're here you're one of the best teams in the NFL uh you're hitting stride at the right time five you're game winning extremely streak. well you take a huge blow losing Jimmy Garoppolo and just kind of that veteran leadership and then you have to insert a young guy and now you know you still try to temper your expectations but then you can't because you're in the thick of it you're in the thick of mm-hmm. being the best team in the NFL so uh I, I think that's probably the, the dilemma that Kyle is dealing with. Uh, you know, how far can we go? Take it one one day at a time, week by week. And I think maybe if you take that approach down the line, Jimmy Caroppolo can uh, potentially make a return. I, I would say this, put it, not putting him on IR really helps because, you know, you can put a guy on IR and then bring him back come playoff time. But they only have two designations available. And I think they're saving that for Elijah right. Mitchell and Javon Kinlaw. So I think that's probably even the bigger reason as to why Jimmy won't be going on IR. Uh, yes, <clears throat> Tom Pelissero also came out this morning and said, if he does come back, Jimmy Garoppolo, he could like suit up as the backup. But again, this is all fluid. It could change. It seems to me like the big uh, outcome here is that now there's more pressure on Kyle. Let me tell you what I mean. When Jimmy goes down and, and they just go with Brock and Josh Johnson, they're basically like, look, this is what we had to do. These guys know our offense. This is the only move we can do. We like Brock, but... I mean, if we don't win the Super Bowl, you can't necessarily hold it against us. There was no choice in the matter. But now it's like, no, there's a choice. At a certain point, Kyle's going to have to make a decision, probably at a playoff game, who gives me a better chance to win? Jimmy coming off a two-week, two-month layoff or Brock Purdy? And I don't know. That's a choice he has to make. I don't know if we can make the right choice. And we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But still, that puts a lot of pressure on Kyle if Jimmy Garoppolo is standing there healthy on the sideline and he goes with Brock and they get blown out in the playoffs. He has to answer for that. So that's interesting. I, I'll say that regardless, I feel like the players in the locker room will respect the decision if he was to go back sure. to Jimmy Garoppolo because they love Jimmy. So, there, you know, it is not a uh, Trey Lance situation, right, where – Jimmy's playing bad, or and then, oh, we're going to insert Trey Lance, and he's the young guy who doesn't have any equity built up on his roster. It's like, no, nah, if, if, you know, Brock Purdy's doing cool, and, okay, you're mm-hmm. there, getting Jimmy Garoppolo to a lot of the players will probably be a boost because of how they yeah. do it. So I don't think it would, like, you know, as far as, like, the pressure of that yeah. that situation, uh, you know, if it pertains That's true. itself, I, I don't think it would be an issue amongst the guys in the locker room. That's true. It definitely seemed like it was the popular move. Like, Brandon IU came out and said they're rocking with Brock Purdy, and it seemed like Kyle Shanahan did what the players want. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right move. And I think another thing that puts pressure on Kyle is what Baker Mayfield did last night. Like, the Niners made a big deal about, we're not even interested. He couldn't possibly learn our offense. Plus, we got Brock. And the Rams are like, so they they never would have got Brock uh, Baker Mayfield because the, the Rams right. were ahead of him. But still, they didn't even put in a claim. And they were real... Out, outward about not wanting him. So he goes in, two days of work, plays well, wins. And it's like, oh, you didn't want him? He, you, you didn't even give him a chance? And, and you're riding with these two guys because they know your system? Did you really go out and find the best quarterbacks possible because you have a Super Bowl window right now? And I feel like the Niners are just kind of setting themselves up for like, hey, man, you know, we lost in the second round of the playoffs, but what do you want from us? I mean, Jimmy got hurt. Okay, well, you didn't want Baker. You didn't call Drew Brees. You didn't, like uncover every stone you just went with the guys who knew you and you knew so i didn't know anyway i think pressure's mounting on kyle it's better work because they didn't really exactly do an extent an exhaustive search for a quarterback i thought it was an interesting move to at all like just we're not even gonna entertain or maybe they entertained it and they had those conversations in the house we don't know but yeah. not putting in 
the claim, even though you weren't going to get him. But not even yep. that being like, all right, we're going to be more aggressive in this. Right. Maybe they just really like Brock so much. And to me, it's not even so much about Brock. It's about what's behind Brock, right? Because so far right. what we've seen is 49er quarterbacks get injured. And that's been the case the whole time. Even if you go back to how did how did Jimmy Garoppolo get in the game against Seattle late in that game in 2017? It was an injury CJ got to CJ Beathard. Correct. The next year, how did Nick Jimmy Lyons might play? never have played that year if CJ hadn't gotten right. hurt? I don't think Kyle wanted to play him, so <laughs> keep going. The, the, the next year, how did Nick Mullins play? Oh, there was an injury to CJ Beathard. Well, how was CJ Beathard playing? There was an injury to Jimmy Garoppolo. So they de- have to deal with a lot of injuries really throughout this tenure. And to say, all right, we like Brock. That's awesome. I thought Brock played extremely well. Uh, you know, coming off the bench, no uh, reps during the week. Uh, you know, there were some weird moments. There's going to be the weird moments, right? Like, mm-hmm. you, you'd expect that, not having the timing down, no game plan for you, et cetera. But considering the circumstances, I thought he played awesome, right? Now, okay, you can like that. That's cool. But what if he goes down? And I think you just, like, with the luck or bad luck that you've had at the quarterback position, I think you have to really take that into consideration. And you also have to take into consideration, what if Brock might not be good? Because we, we've seen that too, right? I just talked right. about Nick Mullins. How did he mm-hmm. get his first start? Well, C.J. Beathard is going down. What had happened? Nick Mullins threw for three touchdowns, looked amazing, lit up the Raiders, and then like lost the next four or five games or whatever it was. So It might have been the best statistical debut ever. It was really right. great. Yeah. We, we, yeah. We've seen that. So I, I, yeah. I understand the optimism with Brock Purdy from the fan base and from the organization, but I, I would have liked to see more of a – if you have an opportunity, which they, clearly now we know they didn't, but they didn't even put in the claim – to get a guy like Baker Mayfield, who people, I guess they talk about him like he's kind of this village idiot and he's just this terrible quarterback. But, you know, I always look at context. I always look at context. Yeah. When you look at the context of Baker Mayfield and his situations, he came in for an injured Tyrod Taylor, looked awesome, finished his rookie year strong. I want to say he might have even broke uh, Peyton Manning's touchdown record uh, for a rookie quarterback. Then, yeah. You know, a couple years later, after they fired Kitchens, you see him in the playoffs. He's leading his team to the playoffs, winning the playoff game, right? So you have that as well. And, you know, then after that, you had the weird kind of dynamic with Odell Beckham and everything that happened there. And then last year, he played with a torn rotator cuff, and everybody held that against him. And then they're like, ah, well, we kind of like this guy, Deshaun Watson, so we're just going to get rid of you. You know, yeah. like, so there have been a lot of different things that put him in the scenario that he's in now. But... He's not this terrible quarterback that everybody makes him out to be. And I think last night, going in, two days worth of practice or whatever, you know, but just seeing mm-hmm. the ball, you know, him, some of the balls that are popping out of his hands, there were some bad throws. I think a lot of it had to do with timing, but yeah, you saw a lot of the good that he brings to the table. And to at the very least not want that, even on your bench, that was the part to me that was a little, a little interesting. Agree. And the Niners came out and made it real clear, like, we think Brock is better for us than Baker. I think another thing is they didn't want to put in the claim for Baker, not get him, and have, like, what does that look like? Does it mean that we don't believe in Brock? But still, <clears throat> it's pretty clear. Who cares? Clear that Niners, who cares? Like, gonna be, like, Kyle, we understand. Who cares? Look at this yes. situation, Kyle. We will understand if you go out yes. and try to bring in a guy like Baker Mayfield. And everybody talks about locker room, all this locker room, they're tight. <clears> well, <throat> he looked like he jailed with that damn Rams locker room pretty good last night after that win, so... Wow. Absolutely. So to me, this is uh, it's ratcheting up the pressure on Kyle. Um, he chose not to look for another quarterback. He chose to, he's not he's not stuck with Brock. He likes Brock. The team likes Brock. They chose to ride with Brock. They've said it themselves, and eventually, they're gonna have Jimmy Garoppolo backing him up. So it seems to me, no excuses. This is I what you Jimmy, want. Jimmy's healthy. <clears throat> he's on the field. No excuses. Win the Super Bowl. Yeah. I don't want to hear that, oh, we had Brock Purdy. You know, we, it was a valiant effort. Good story. No, 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 no. No. This is your choice. This is what you want. This is what you think is best for the team. Win the Super Bowl. Otherwise, I'm putting you back on the hot seat. And that's a real thing. <laughs> 